Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. I guess it was a good day today. Um, I think uh, today was good, like uh, last uh, Friday was bad. Um, I want to say it was a good day. Obviously, you know, market-wise, it was great, um, just like how market-wise on Friday it was bad. But I was doing basically everything I could to make Friday feel like it was a good day with, like, the markets and reading into things. Today was almost the uh, opposite, but uh, it was just a greener today than red on Friday. So just to get to it, it seems like the president's health has been doing better. So uh, my interest in showing uh, respect because he was having a bad day has diminished. So I am going to go back to calling him Trump and stuff like that, just like I call other politicians by their names and not titles that they have and stuff like that. So it seems like he's doing better. Um, I That's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of don't want to read too much into what today was. Because just like, you know, Friday, I, I was like reading into things. Today, it was just like there wasn't much news for why we're going up outside of Trump's health being better. Um, and reading into, you know, deals with Pelosi and the White House and whatnot for stimulus. I think both stories are kind of bullcrap. I think both stories are kind of nothing burgers. I was saying on Friday that I felt that Trump was going to be healthy. That's why I was still making jokes and puns about stuff because I didn't think we were going to have the weekend or time afterwards where like I was going to be very upset that I made light of certain situations because I thought he was going to be healthy. I think he was going to come out fine. Like maybe in the first couple of months or weeks or whatever, not so much, but we've had advancements since then and stuff like that. So, you know, I've, I felt like things were going to be okay. So, you know, everything seems to be fine with him. Um, and the, I'm kind of like, why is the market kind of going up? I mean, maybe just to get back what we lost, but we didn't really lose that much on Friday. So that shouldn't have been too much of a rallying thing. Um, I don't know if like poll numbers have changed dramatically to make anything like different with poll numbers. And the only other story that people were talking about was, you know, stimulus deals. And uh, in fact, a lot of people were talking about stimulus deals. It was 50% Trump, 50% stimulus deal. And I guess the Trump story is fine, whatever, you know, keeping uh, like interest in that. Stimulus deal, any second wasted through like people talking on the news about the stimulus deal. It's just a, like just a waste altogether. It's just like I, I only want to hear about the stimulus deal when something gets passed. So I'm completely pessimistic about it. I really don't like, you know, days where it's just like things go up green only for us to get bad news for it to go red again. It's just like what I would be happy is if everything just stays flat and nobody talks about the stimulus thing. And then it can happen and then we can bump up. I don't like this like going up a little bit, like figuring it's going to happen. It's just like why is anyone figuring it's going to happen? Just assume it's not going to happen and then get in on the rally when it does. Um, cause it's like, I'm tired of having days where we're up 30, 40 for the Dow. Then we crash down when like, you know, something bad comes around. It's just like, stop, stop getting excited about this thing every like three weeks or something like that. But that, that that's kind of like the nuance. And that was why today it was a really good day. But the, both of the stories that happened, it was just like Trump's healthy, which is like, kind of like, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. And, you know, stimulus talks, which I kind of figure isn't going to happen. And it's just like, what? So, you know, later today when like more bad news about it comes out, it's, we're going to crash and have a red day tomorrow. But I don't know. Maybe maybe something will come out. Maybe the that jobs things of people being laid off is going to rally some people and, you know, get things going. But I don't know. I just I just don't like it when politics is the reason for a change in the day for the stock market, because I think a lot of politics is just kabuki theater and i'm upset to see people that like kind of know what they're doing getting influenced by just politicians promising stuff really stupid so with the numbers on the day i think we we're up like 465 for the dow uh, 250 for the nasdaq um and like with last week i know last week had a little bit of uh the end of september in it but yeah it's like the last week and today you know we've probably had more green than red um and a lot of uh, good green days and so it's like things were up higher than they were down on Friday. So yeah, I, I'm pretty happy about how October's so far going. 
Um, it would be awesome if October continues kind of in this direction. Um, but I just don't really see it, see that happening uh, with the election stuff with, in my opinion, stimulus not happening and with like bad jobs, things happening because, you know, like, again, the stimulus, I don't think is going to be happening. You're going to be getting a lot of bad headlines about layoffs coming soon. So I think October is going to be bad. So I'm not thinking t today's a, a good day to like buy anything. I'm still sitting tight and seeing uh, how things go. But it was a really good day today. Um, I could be completely wrong by the end of October, but we'll have to see about that. But I guess uh, to get to how I did on the day, leading the charge was Tilray, 12.03. Don't know if something happened there. Uh, can't be growth. Well, maybe something happened with the pot stocks, because that's the next one, 6.33. Beyond Meat, 5.56. Uh, Green Organic, 5.1. Smith & Wesson, 4.44. Apple, 3.07, happy to see that. Take Two, 2.87. Tesla, 2.55. Waifu, 2.35. Boeing, 1.85. Pfizer, 1.01. Aurora Cannabis, 0.87. Zoom, 0.65. Unity, 0.56. AstraZeneca, 0.49. Then you get into the losers, not too many losers on the day. Nikola, that's an all-time, always a loser. Uh, down 1.94 and DraftKings 5.07. I think there was more bad news with uh, DraftKings with uh, sports and football players getting COVID. So you know um, we'll see how uh, that goes. You know that's that's a stock that's like up down up down just depending on like who gets what. Um, again, I got I only have that for like five years from now when like I assume COVID is going to be a distant memory and you know sports are just going to be playing normally. But we'll, we'll see how that uh, goes for the future. And on the day, I was up 1.94. And the mutual funds, the top one is point, uh, no 2.06, so that beat me. 1.8, so I beat that. And 1.79, so I beat that one. So I'm in the mix with the mutual funds today. So I'm happy about that. Um, hopefully, you know, uh, we'll be going back to when I was saying that a lot, where I was like beating two out of the three mutual funds. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just like, uh, things were uh, good today. Tech did uh, very well today. Uh, Apple did very well today. Yeah. So a lot of the, the good, uh, steady things, uh, were doing well. And I think, uh, that's a sign, um, typically that would probably be a sign that things are going well is when the winners from before start becoming winners again. And with like Apple and things like that, you know, going up, you know, that's a sign. Now, like I said, I think the signs for today were kind of bogus. That it was just like Trump doing uh, well with his medical situation and, you know, deals with like Pelosi and whatnot with the, you know, uh, the House and stimulus. It's just like, I, I think those are bogus stories. That it's just like, I, I really wish people weren't reading so much into them. And just like kind of like whatever. It's just like, you know, government and things like that shouldn't be that big of an influence on people's lives. So for the most part, didn't see much uh, stories besides the ones that I talked about. As far as like new, like future stories um, and like how the market's going to go. Uh, I, I kind of already mentioned, I think things aren't going to go well. Uh, I mean, we could, you know, end up having like politics, you know, drown out the stories that I think are going to be happening. Which is basically like... This place and that place are going to be announcing layoffs. Um, but I don't know. If, if like people just try to keep on like staying on the coattails of like maybe a stimulus bill is going to happen. Like tomorrow and the day after. You know maybe we'll continue to see green. And we'll see enough green that like when it doesn't happen. It won't uh, make up. Uh, the red won't like take out all the green that we got. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm too pessimistic. Maybe you know a deal a deal is around the corner. I haven't really been paying attention to like what the talks are. All I know is like the last time I heard like a real like substantive thing was that the House passed their bill that was already more expensive than the White House one that they were talking about. Um, so it's just like if you can't agree on the White House one that was lower. This house one is, you know, completely dead on arrival. Um, and that's like the only like kind of like official thing that was like done, like an actual passing of something. Outside of that, it's just like talks. It's outside of that. It's just like people are like, oh, I really feel, oh, I really feel that we're close to this one. I don't know. Maybe some of that talk is true. I don't really see it because I think we've been really close several times in the past. 
But who knows? Now that like headlines are like changing with like actual places getting laid off, maybe somebody is going to get nervous, and you know the Republicans are going to like say it's like fine, four trillion, five trillion, ten trillion, whatever. Um, or the Democrats, you know, will feel that they're pressured or something like that, and they'll be like, oh, well, let's pass a bill that's five dollars. So I don't know. Maybe something's going to happen, and a bill will be passed. Uh, and you know whatever is going to happen there, and the market's going to rally. Hey, as pessimistic as I've been about it, and as wrong as I'll be, like saying it's just we're not going to get anything, I'll be ecstatic if we get something. Because one, that's going to mean the market's going to rally. Another, I don't have to hear about it ever again. So you know, there's uh, that. I'm I'm rooting for a thing to happen. And you know, even though I kind of crap on the people that should know better for getting excited. Hey, in the back of my head, I keep on like kind of waking up and turning on CNBC to hope to see like a crawl at the bottom says that like a, a deal was agreed upon. So like even I, I get excited about it, even though I'm completely pessimistic about it. But who knows? Maybe that's going to happen. I don't think so. Uh, like I said, the other news stories are like people are going to be not doing well and people are going to be getting fired. I think, you know, that's going to kind of uh, be a big story depending on how big the stimulus talk is. But I don't see much going on. I don't see much news stories. Uh, I have really no uh, idea where things are going to go. I think people are going to be influenced by a whole bunch of stuff. But we'll have to see what tomorrow brings. Right?